hello everybody and welcome to today's video if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing really well so today's video is part two of my halloween collaboration with bloom chic i've already done a video trying out some halloween everyday clothing stuff that you can wear casually day to day throughout october so i will leave a link to that video down below in case you wanted to check that out but today's video i am particularly excited for because we are trying out some halloween costumes i love all things to do with halloween but especially halloween parties getting dressed up doing spooky makeup I force my friends to do a costume party for my birthday every single year because I love dressing up so Halloween is definitely a good excuse to do that and so today I've got eight costumes to try out ranging from more kind of subtle like not too out there to full-on like costume costumes so I am really looking forward to showing you these costumes today all of these items have been very kindly gifted from Bloom Chic, so thank you so much to Bloom Chic for doing that. And for reference, I'm a UK size 18, so I've gone for a 1XL in all of these items. So let's dive straight on into the haul now. I will leave a link to all of these items in the description box down below in case this helps you to find your Halloween costume for this year. I will also leave a link to Bloom Chic's website because they had loads of Halloween costumes on there. I was literally spoilt for choice. I tried to get a range. Um, they have got like Barbie costumes and stuff on there as well in case you were looking for more kind of this year, like the classics, but I've gone for more maybe traditional Halloween costumes. Um, but yeah, we'll dive into it now. So like I said, I've got a range of kind of varying costumes depending on how extra you would want to go. So I'm going to start out with the more subtle and end with the more like proper costumes. So here we have a spider like cobweb outfit kind of. I completely forgot I had ordered this and have worn one of these today anyway. Um, but this is one of these knitted vests, but it is a cobweb design. And I just feel like this would be a really cool, really subtle Halloween costume. Maybe you could do some like of that eyeliner that has the cobwebs underneath it, like going as like kind of like spider vibes. Um, it's still spooky vibes, but I feel like it's still very subtle. So you don't need to go like super out there. You wouldn't be like self-conscious if you're not a massive Halloween fan like I am. Um, this could definitely work as a Halloween costume. Um, this will be a try on haul. So I'll be putting try on clips throughout the video so you can see the items on a real body. So um, yeah, I will try this on for you guys now. Here is the vest top on now. I've tried this on with a black and a white top underneath and I think I prefer the white just because then it stands out a little bit more and it makes the vest pop. But I think this could actually look really cool, like I said, with the eyeliner, black lipstick, making it a little bit more extra than this. Um, and then this would be like a pretty cool costume to go as for Halloween. So yeah, I really like this one. Next up, we have something again that is not super extra. This is actually like a pumpkin outfit. So this one I think could really be enhanced by the makeup that you do. You could definitely make this super extra with your makeup um, or you could kind of keep it really subtle, maybe do the like little like pumpkin smile um, but and like some orange eyeliner or eyeshadow. I'm already like, I've already got a vision for this outfit. Um, but yeah, this is a jumpsuit. Um, it's a full length jumpsuit. So I will need to see how this fits on me because I am five foot 11. Um, but where the straps are like, you kind of tie them yourselves. So you've got like these bows on the shoulders. Um, I feel like they're kind of like adjustable. Like I feel like you can make this fit your body type, which is good. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is a really cool, not super subtle, but kind of more subtle than like a Halloween costume. Um, and yeah, like I said, you can definitely make this more extra if you wanted to as well. Here is this jumpsuit on now. In terms of the fit of this one, I actually really like it, but I don't think it's going to be for everyone because it is super baggy. Like there is loads of material on this one, um, which makes it really comfy to wear. Like it's super loose and flowy, which is good. Um, lengthwise, it does fit me really nicely because like I said, you can tie the shoulders yourself so you can make it fit how you wanted it to fit. Um, it's probably not the most flattering because where there is loads of material, like it's really like gapey there. Um, but I feel like you could definitely like style this how you wanted to as well. I put a black top underneath it, which I think makes it a little bit more subtle if you were trying to go for a subtle Halloween costume or you could put like an orange top underneath it and go full on like scary pumpkin vibes. Um, yeah, I feel like this is quite a versatile Halloween costume. You've like put effort in, you're trying to go for Halloween vibes. So um, yeah, I like this one. Next up, we have a costume, but I would still say this is quite subtle. I don't know. When I try it on, you guys will have to let me know. Um, but this is a Harry Potter costume. I absolutely love watching the Harry Potter films in the autumn winter. So um, yeah, when I saw they had this costume, I had to get it. They do only have um, Gryffindor and Slytherin. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you might be one of the other houses. I am a Hufflepuff. So I would have got 
my Hufflepuff robes but out of the choice I went for Gryffindor um but yeah you've got like the red hood and then it is a dress um but it does like it looks kind of like robes from the picture um on the website so I feel like this will look really cool you can definitely get some accessories to extra it up a little bit like some Harry Potter glasses and a wand and stuff um but yeah because this is essentially like a plain black dress I feel like it's not super out there um but yeah let's try this one on and see here is this one on now the harry potter fan inside of me is loving this costume i feel like even how the sleeves kind of come out it feels very like mystical magical um and it's a really floaty dress as well it's really comfy to wear but i think even having like the hood so this is like a proper hood as well um really adds to the costume obviously you've got like the logo like the crest of gryffindor there um so yeah i really like this one i think it is a cool halloween costume i definitely think you would need to either like draw on a scar or do something else because um yeah you can definitely add to this costume so it's not just like a black dress that you're wearing but still kind of on the more subtle vibe I do think now looking at it it is basically just a black dress with a red hood so if you weren't super if you didn't want to go super out there with your costume I feel like this would be a good option next up we have another black dress but i think this one would be perfect for a witch costume which like i feel like that's definitely a classic traditional halloween but yeah i really like this dress that didn't go very well so this is one that's definitely going to be easier to show you what it looks like in the try on clips but we have this dress so this is actually the sleeve so they're like super like draped and kind of give witch vibes um and then it's a really long dress as well and at the bottom you've got this like lacy section um which isn't like cobweb print but definitely does give like halloween vibes um and yeah the top also has that lace like at the front in this panel as well like i said it'll be easier to show you in the try on clip but it's like a velvety material i definitely think it gives off like a good witch costume um you could make it into like a cat costume as well if you wanted to but i feel like this is giving witch for me um but yeah i really like this one definitely spooky definitely fits the halloween theme here is the dress on now it's another one with the super statement sleeves i really like that i think it definitely adds to the outfit because otherwise it is just a black dress so having those funky floaty sleeves really adds to it um one thing i will say about the dress is it's quite form fitting so i don't know how confident i would be going out wearing this um but i mean i really like the material it's actually a really comfy dress to wear i love the lace paneling i will move you down so you can see the bottom of the dress as well because that is kind of the main part of it um is like that bit i feel like that's what makes it super halloweeny and cool um so yeah i do really like that um and i would definitely wear this dress it's just yeah it's a bit more form-fitting than i would normally go for next up i ordered this one this wasn't like particularly like advertised as this costume on their website but for me as soon as i saw it i thought of this so i think this dress really gives off strong wednesday adam vibes i will get it out and show you so again this is one that's going to be easier to show in the try on clip because it's black so it's gonna mess up the lighting but um this is like a full like is it like tool skirt like layered we've got so much like fabric going on like it's definitely giving um wednesday the netflix series that came out earlier this year as well um and i definitely when i saw that wanted to go as wednesday for halloween so when i saw this one i was like i need to get it and try it out but i just think it's super cool and also like doesn't scream overly halloween unless you like made it into that so i think like if you wore like a black wig or if you just put your hair in plaits like you can make it look more wednesday as well um so yeah i will try it on for you now here is the dress on now i actually really love this one i feel like it's not quite as comfy to wear because the material isn't as like soft as the others but it is definitely more of a statement um even though it is just a black dress so i feel like i would actually be quite confident wearing this for a halloween costume it is definitely giving me wednesday vibes i would have to learn the dance um but yeah i feel like i would want to wear this so even if i don't go as wednesday for halloween i need to find an excuse to wear this dress because i think it's very cool loving the sleeves um and also like i really love all of the layers i wouldn't be conscious wearing this at all um because it is so like flowy and floaty which is nice so yeah i love this one one thing i will just say as well is that the quality of these halloween costumes are so good like when i order halloween costumes i kind of expect them to be like quite cheap because normally they're meant to only last for like that one event or that one year um but the quality of these items is so good so i would definitely recommend 
Next up is another dress. I've clearly gone for loads of dresses this Halloween. Um, but this again, wasn't like a set costume. Like you kind of use this dress to go as like multiple different things. But for me, this is like a vampire dress, I think. So we have like the velvety red material going the whole way down and then these mesh sleeves, which are so cool, like lacy black, very like vampire vibes for me. And then it is a full length maxi dress in the velvet material, which I think is so nice. Um, and it's got this like black paneling going down both of the sides as well, which hopefully will look really flattering too. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this one on. I feel like I don't really know what other accessories you would add for a vampire or like what makeup you would do so I guess with the dress that's kind of your costume sorted but I know you can get those kind of like pointy teeth that you like stick on or you could get like red contacts or something you can definitely dress this up if you wanted to go as a vampire for Halloween um but yeah this is cool here is our vampire dress on now I don't know how I feel about this one I thought I would really like it and I, I think because it's form-fitting like that other witch one that we tried on earlier it's just not normally a dress style that I would go towards so I probably would feel a bit more self-conscious going out wearing this one but I do really like the sleeves that's definitely something Bloom Chic have excelled at throughout all these costumes because the statement sleeves are I'm just loving them um and I do like the black panelling down the sides as well I like the colour I feel like I want to like this dress, um, but for some reason it's not one of my favourites. Okay, so I've realised the last two things are also dresses. So we've clearly just gone for like loads of dresses for these costumes, but that's fine because I love a dress. Um, but this is another one of those costumes that doesn't have like a specific thing that you need to go as, which I've kind of realised is probably even better because then you can rewear these dresses year on year. It helps that the quality is really good and you can go as different things whilst rewearing these same items too. So it means that you don't need to go out and buy a whole new costume every year too. So that's good. I think this might actually be one of my favourite items within this entire haul. For me, I would use this as like a pumpkin outfit, maybe a scarecrow outfit. Um, I feel like you could use this loads. Even a witch, I feel like you could get away with using this dress for. Um, it's got this like orange and black check going all the way down it. Um, it's like a probably like knee length dress, maybe even longer than that. Um, it's got this corset detailing in the front as well, which I think is really cool. I love the puff sleeves. Um, I think just in general, it's a really nice dress. I don't think I'd wear this outside of Halloween, but it's a nice like style of dress anyway um and yeah i feel like you could use it for so many different costumes that it's really good this dress has actually surpassed my expectations i actually really like it i like how the sleeves are quite puffy although i do feel like because they um go really tight at the ends i feel like it would annoy me because i would be like constantly pulling them down when they rise up throughout the night um but other than that i think the actual style of this dress i really love i love the kind of like tie detailing in the middle you can kind of cinch in your waist a little bit um which is nice i like that you could wear this for like multiple different costumes as well um so this might actually be a contender for my halloween costume for the year. And our final one is a proper character costume. I want to see if you guys can guess what character it is from these colours. I will open it up now. <laughs> so here is the dress. I really thought this was Alice in Wonderland but now I'm starting to second guess myself. I feel like it could also be like Wendy from Peter Pan or even just like a nurse costume in general. I feel like you could get away with this for. Um, but for me it was giving Alice in Wonderland so that's what we're going to go for. Um, the material of this one does feel a bit more costumey than the other ones. The other ones felt like kind of nice things to wear anyway. Um, this one does feel a bit like you know what I mean it's just not as nice to feel um, but it is a costume and you wouldn't wear this in any other purpose than a costume so yeah does that um but yeah i think this is alice in wonderland we're gonna assume it's that let's try it on here is this costume on now yeah i actually really like this one i really like how the dress itself is quite like baggy and loose and then you've got this like apron thing that you can just tie at the back um and that kind of depends how tight you want the dress as well like i feel like it's a really comfortable dress to wear because you do that so um and it's a, like a low risk one to buy as well I always find when I'm looking at Halloween costumes I'm like oh is that gonna fit like how's that gonna look but because you like tie it yourself um I really like that and yeah I feel like it's a cool costume definitely looks like you've put effort in um and then also if you've already gone as Alice in Wonderland and everything that you wanted for this costume as well you could always do like the bloody handprint do the twisted Disney um <laughs> kind of vibe as well um so yeah I really like this one it's a good length as well it comes like like just below knee length which is good um the only thing I will say is these collar bits are gonna annoy me because they kind of like they don't sit quite right but I feel like I might just need to give it an iron and then hope for the best <laughs> but yeah I like this one 
So those are all of the items that I'm going to be trying on within today's video. I have really loved trying out these costumes. I now need to decide which one I'm going to go as for Halloween. So let me know if you guys have a preference. I will also be vlogging my Halloween party for this year. So you guys will get to see which one I choose to go as. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you to Bloom Chic for sending me these items and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.